Hello all, my name is Janet. Let us discuss index properties, relationships and tests. This is video part 4. In previous 3 videos, we have discussed different definitions, their interrelationships and the different formulas for that. As well as we have had a glimpse of numericals like 3 for numericals. Let us continue with that. So, next problem is like this. A soil sample has a bulk unit weight of 18.44 kN per meter cube. So, here bulk unit weight gamma B is provided. And water content of 5% is there. So, water content small w will be 0.05. Calculate amount of water required to be added to a cubic meter of soil. So, some water is to be added or is to be added in the soil to raise water content to 15 percentage. So current water content is 5 percentage but we want to raise it by 10 percent or we can say we want to move water content from 5 percent to 15 percent. So we have to add some water right. So we are going to find that quantity of water. Assume void ratio as constant. So E is constant here. Find degree of saturation and SR is also to be found out. Let us solve this problem by writing given data first. So gamma B is provided, W initial that is 5 percentage, W final after adding some water will be 15 percentage. So first we will find dry unit weight. So we will get to know what water will be added. So formula gamma D is equal to gamma B upon 1 plus W will be used here because we are having gamma B and W both the values. Here W will be taken as initial W because we did not have added the water uh, required. Now putting value of gamma B and W, I am getting gamma D dry unit weight as 17.56 kN per meter cube. Moving further, now if I consider the soil as 1 meter cube only, so its dry unit weight was like 17.56 kN per meter cube. So, if I assume it as 1 meter cube, then the dry weight will be 17.56 kN, right? Furthermore, from this dry weight, I will find out amount of water required. How? Let us see that. Now, what is the gap or what percentage of water to be added is 10%, 15% is minus 5%. So, it is 10% of weight of dry soil, right? So, uh, what is 10 percentage of dry soil? So, I have weight of dry that is 17.56 kN and 10 percentage of that that is 1.756 kN. So, I want to add 1.756 kN water in that soil and as void ratio is constant, I can write E initial is equal to E final. From that, I can write W into G by SR and WI into G by SR is equal to WG by SR. Here value of G will be constant as the soil is same but W and SR will be different as W initial and W final same way SR initial SR final. Here I will get uh, SR initial and SR final relationship from W initial and W final. So, putting value of W initial and final, I am getting SR final is equal to 3 times SR initial. So, degree of saturation will be what? 3 times of initial saturation, right? So, that's it for this problem. Let us move to next problem. Problem 6. A soil sample has a diameter of 38 mm and a height of 76 mm. So, soil samples height and diameter is provided its weight is 1.15 newtons. So, weight is given in newtons. Upon drying, its weight is reduced to 0.5 newtons. So, after drying, its weight is reduced because the water is evaporated. Specific gravity is 2.7. In the wet state, what is degree of saturation? So, in the wet state, I am asked that what will be SR and the water content of soil sample. So, I need to find W also. Determine the void ratio. I need to find E also. Also find out total unit weight and dry unit weight. So I need so many things, right? So I should start step by step. Let us write given data first. H is given 
as 76 b is given as 38 mm so volume i can calculate pi by 4 b square h from that i am getting volume as 86149.04 into 10 to minus 9 meter cube from this volume value i will uh, find out bulk unit weight further uh, now for bulk unit weight or we can say gamma b is equal to w upon v right now i have my volume and weight is given as in the problem 1.515 newton so i am getting gamma b bulk unit weight as 13.34 kilonewton per meter cube this is my first value from bulk unit weight i will find out dry unit weight because i know the relation gamma d is equal to wd upon v wd is provided 0 0.05 0 .5 and volume i have already so dry unit weight will be 5.80 kilonewton per meter cube so i got bulk unit weight and dry unit weight now i am going to find out water content for water content i am going to use formula or relation between dry and bulk unit weight that is gamma d is equal to gamma b upon 1 plus w now i have gamma d and gamma b both the values so i can find out small w for small w I can put both of the values in the equation and I am getting water content as 1.3 or we can say 130 percentage. So I need to uh, find out next thing that is void ratio and the remaining thing is degree of saturation. So I have the value of gamma D, G and gamma W so I can find out E. For E value I am putting all the values provided in the problem I am getting void ratio as 3.57. Now, the last thing to be found out there is degree of saturation. I am going to use the formula E is equal to WG into SR. Now, from this formula, I am putting E, G and W value. So, I will get SR. So, making SR a subject, I am getting degree of saturation as 98.32 percentage. So, this is my degree of saturation. So that is how we can find out all the things but step by step. For that you also need to remember all the formulas. Let us move to next problem. Problem 7. The in situ void ratio of granular soil deposit. So the soil deposit is granular and the void ratio is provided. In situ means nothing but at site measured at site in situ. That is given as 0.45. So E is provided. The maximum and minimum void ratio of soil were to be determined to be 0.8 and 0.3. So void ratio maximum that means E max and void ratio minimum that is E min. Both are provided as 0.8 and 0.3 as well as G is given as 2.65. Determine the relative density of soil. Now we need to find out ID that is relative density. For that let us write given data first. Given data E, E max and E minimum 0 0.45, 0 0.8 and 0 0.3. From that I am having the equation for relative density of soil is as ID is equal to E maximum minus E upon E maximum minus E minimum. Explanation of that was like void ratio maximum minus natural void ratio upon maximum void ratio minus minimum void ratio. Now you must understand that when void ratio will be maximum, when the soil will be in loosest state, then void ratio will be maximum. If the soil is in a densest state, voids will be less or minimal that is how void ratio will be minimum so using this formula and given data putting e max as 0.8 e as 0.45 and e minimum as 0.3 i am getting id as 0.70 so relative density which is asked in the question that is 70 percentage so this is a very small problem it can be asked in two three marks let us move further. Problem 8. A soil sample has a porosity of 40 percentage. Por porosity is n is equal to 40 percentage or we can say 0 
the specific gravity of solids is given as 2.7 calculate first void ratio dry density unit weight if the soil is 50 percentage saturated so you have to find out sr 50 percentage and unit weight unit weight if the soil is completely saturated so you need to find out fourth item as unit weight but when sr is equal to 100 percentage or we can take sr is equal to 1 then you need to find out unit weight let us do the solution given data is n is equal to 40 percentage g 2.7 and sr first 50 percentage and then we will go to find out 100 percentage let us move to that first item void ratio here void ratio is e we know the relation between void ratio and porosity right so we need to use that formula here e will be n upon 1 minus n here putting value of n as 0.4 i am getting e void ratio as 0.667 so i need to find out second item that is dry density or first of all i will find out dry unit weight and then we will move to dry density gamma d is equal to g into gamma w upon 1 plus e as i am having e g is provided and gamma w is by default 9.81 so i am getting gamma d is 15.89 kilonewton per meter cube from that to find out dry density i need to convert that into raw d for converting it into raw d i will divide it by 9.81 now moving to third item if sr is equal to 50 percentage for third item first i will find out gamma saturated so gamma saturated will be found out with the formula g plus e into sr into gamma w upon 1 plus e now here do remember that sr is equal to 50 percentage so i need to put sr as 0.5 now i have g e and sr and gamma w so i can find out gamma saturated value so saturated unit weight is 17.85 kilonewton per meter cube now the unit weight when saturation level is 50 percentage will be 17.85 kilonewton per meter cube same way if i am putting sr as 1 in the same equation here in the same equation of gamma saturated g plus e into sr as 1 i will get gamma saturated value as 19.81 kilonewton per meter cube so that is how you can find out all four things for converting dry unit weight into dry density you need to divide it by 9.81 or gamma w so that's it in this video we will understand more theories more technicalities in the next video thank you